Hi guys, Casey here. As most of you have probably seen by now, I recently posted on Facebook that I got engaged. I received such an immense outpouring of love and support, reaching my most liked Facebook update in years and my most viewed YouTube video of all time. I was so overwhelmed by the amount of attention this garnered and the number of people who reached out to offer their congratulations. That's why it absolutely devastates me to have to tell you that it isn't real. Hunter and I, while great friends, are not engaged nor romantically involved in any way. I know many of you may have a lot of feelings about hearing this. I have a lot of feelings as well, and that's why I felt the need to make this video to explain what happened, why it happened, and what it was all about. As many of you know, I'm currently majoring in visual arts at Harvard University. One of the classes I'm taking this semester is on performance art, and it's for this class that I conceived of and executed this project. I've been thinking a lot recently about social media and how we construct our personal pages to tell the perfectly curated story of us. When we take pictures for Instagram, or choose who to send Snapchats to, or post about relationships and classes and personal struggles, it's like we're presenting an exhibition of our lives, and we get to choose what falls in the frame and what gets left out. I'm guilty of it, I think we're all guilty of it in this age of digital media and the abundance of platforms for information consumption that are available to us. John Green recently released a video on this, explaining it far better than I ever could. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description in case you're interested in checking it out. Amidst all these thoughts and thinking about my personal social media life, I've realized that I don't really share much of my reality online and that there existed the pieces for this perfect fantasy, a lived experience not really lived at all. And that's where I found the inspiration for this project. I wanted to push the boundaries, craft a fiction, and see how it would be accepted on social media. And honestly, it scared me how readily it was accepted. I know many of you may feel upset, betrayed, or even angry about this project. It became overwhelming for me too. Fielding all of the messages of support, taking phone calls of bewilderment from my best friend and mother, this was by far the most difficult piece of art I've ever made. But I also think it was one of the most successful. So many questions came out of this project. For me, and I'm sure for you too. It made me question the image of myself that I was putting out into the world. I never thought people would believe that I'd be the type of person who would get engaged on a whim. I thought people would go looking for the truth, which I'll touch on in a second. I took for granted how much trust people would have in me, and it feels terrible thinking that I betrayed that trust. But I'm so glad I made this project, and I'm so immensely thankful to all of you for participating. I think this project revealed things about myself, social media life, and the world that I would have never thought of before, but I still feel uncomfortable. And I think that's good. I think some art should make you feel uncomfortable. If any of you want to talk about this or have any questions or concerns, I'd be happy to have a chat. Please do come and talk to me, as I think as artists sometimes we hide part of the story for the sake of the art, but I think being available to having an open discourse after that artwork has run its course is so important. I thought a lot about how to end this project and when to end this project. I think this is the right way and now is the right time. So please do come and talk to me. My inbox is always open. Backing up a bit, I mentioned that I'd hope people would go out and find the truth themselves. I haven't talked much about this because it ended up being less relevant to the project than I thought it would be, but I was initially interested in the idea of fake news and believing something because of a catchy title. I don't think this played as important of a role in this project because of how personal of a thing engagements are, but I did initially have an interest in seeing who would look around and find this. In the description of my YouTube video was this link which led to a blog post explaining the project and asking people to contact me. In the end, I had 19 people message me to let me know they had found the post. So, shout out to all of you awesome people for letting me know you found it and for participating in the project. Anyway, I don't want this to turn into a huge rant, but I did want to explain my project and share it with all of you. Again, I am so sorry for any strong emotional reactions created by this project. I certainly had a strong emotional response myself, so it's entirely valid. Someone I couldn't have done this without is Hunter, and this has affected her a lot as well, so I wanted to give her a chance to come on and talk, because it's been a collaboration of sorts. So, here's Hunter. Hey there, I'm Hunter, um, as many of you already know. So initially I wanted to see how people read into my platonic friendship with Casey as romantic. I was sure that people would never believe that I would get engaged so quickly and so early. Many people told me that they had doubts, but still believed it and wanted to congratulate me. I've struggled with seeing how trusting my friends are of me because I value trust and honesty. At the same time, I do think it's interesting to see how different the reactions were. It was especially shocking to me that I could get both an outpouring of support along with critique. I became very aware of how people perceived me through my writing. To have people comment on what a wild erotic personality I must have had taken a toll on me because people arguably still don't know me just from reading my work. But to have people accept an entirely different narrative immediately wasn't something I considered. It's been emotionally taxing, and this only lasted a weekend. I want to thank everyone again for all of their support and love, and hope that you'll understand that I never meant to take your trust in me for granted. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks again for being awesome friends and people. If you're interested, check out some of my less intense artworks that I've been up to over the semester here. Thanks again, and see you guys soon.
started off as a joke It turned into an art project And now I'm feeling shook Because of my mom His mom and their mom I got my 